Jens Vindem is one of the scientists working here at the California Academy of Sciences, and he loves amphibians and reptiles. But it wasn't always that way. Take the first time he saw a snake as a boy in Pacifica. I came home crying, running all the way home crying, and uh, from that point on, they kind of got my interest. So Jens became a herpetologist. And one of his favorite places for herpetological research is the Asian country of Myanmar. One of the great things about Myanmar is that it hasn't been well worked over, but they also have more forest left than any other Southeast Asian country. They have about 32% forest left. We're working closely with the forest department in Burma, and they've set up a number of uh, reserves, and national parks, and forest reserves um, to save the animals uh, and the plant life. This is the most important work they can do in Myanmar working with the government to map the distribution of species to protect their habitats. But it's the field work that is the glamorous side of being a herpetologist. That is, if herpetology has a glamorous side. So when we go out on the field in Myanmar, one of the really great things for us is, is to go out uh, collecting during the day and during the night. And when we come back, then we all sit down and, and talk about what we've collected. And, and somebody will say, well, I, I think I got a new species here. And, and another person will say, well, I, I think I have one too. But not everything is fun to catch and easy to collect. It's important that Jens and his team are careful. Myanmar has one of the highest death rates from venomous snake bites. There is one snake species that does most of this, and that's the Russell's viper. And it occurs in rice fields and other agricultural areas. So it's the poor farmers that are going out there and, and working their fields. Um, they come across these snakes. Another reason the snakes in Myanmar are so deadly is that they're often hard to identify. The California Academy of Sciences is trying to help with that. We've just put together a book on the venomous snakes of Myanmar. And one of the hopes that we have for this book is that it could be used by medical professionals in Myanmar to identify snake species that, that usually come in with the, the victim that's been bitten. It's also very important that Yens and other American researchers work with local Burmese scientists. What's made this project really successful is the Burmese field team that we have. Um, they work with us. Um, there are foresters that work for the forestry department. And when we're not there, they're out in the field. If he sounds a little jealous, it's because Yens can't wait to get back to Myanmar and his expeditions. I can't believe now I'm doing the exact same thing at 54 that I was back when I was, you know, 8 or 10. Um, it's, just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful job.